After taking the medicine, the prisoner would secretly spit it out when the guards were not paying attention, he then took out the anti-anesthetic prepared, then he tied the bottle with a fishing line, the other end was tied to the back teeth, when everything was ready, Jack immediately put the bottle into his mouth, then he swallowed it without hesitation, then he cut the lighter into pieces, only the flint was left for later use, he hid it by putting it under his fingernail, after doing all this, he tied his wrists with shoelaces again, then he placed his thumb on the edge of the table, with the simultaneous force of his right foot and wrist, the thumb was immediately twisted and dislocated, although it was excruciating painful, but Jack gritted his teeth and dared not make a sound, because he knew this was his only chance to escape from prison. Jack was responsible for two deaths and was a heavily guarded criminal, he thought he would spend the rest of his life in prison, but things took a turn for the better soon, police captain John's son has leukemia, and it just so happens that only Jack's bone marrow can match it, John has no choice but to ask Jack for help, hope he can donate his bone marrow, but what John didn't expect was that Jack agreed immediately, but he had a prerequisite, which was to allow him to smoke in prison, and he had to be able to enter and exit the library freely, John didn't expect the conditions to be so simple. He agreed to it out of eagerness to save his son. Little did he know that he had fallen into Jack's trap, because smoking was not Jack's real purpose. What he really needs is the flint inside, and going to the library to read books is just a cover. The purpose is to steal the detailed structural diagram of the hospital. When everything is ready, Jack was escorted by the guards to the hospital where John's son was, because his hands were handcuffed. It was impossible to remove the bone marrow from the back. While everyone was discussing countermeasures, Jack had quietly put the bottle of anti-anesthetic medicine into his mouth. Then, at the doctor's strong request, Jack was uncuffed and tied to the bed, then the anesthetic was injected to start the anesthesia, little did they know that Jack had already bitten the bottle and swallowed all the antidote inside, soon the doctor discovered something unusual, according to various signs, Jack was not anesthetized at all, but just when everyone was about to anesthetize again, Jack has already started his own actions.